we now have double digit subscribers at the time i'm recording this we have 12 and i meant to do a video when we hit 10 um, i've just been working and i work on the road so i can't really film footage while i'm out um, but luckily my friend was nice enough to send me some pictures of my army so i'm going to talk about that a little bit uh, this is the 500 point army i bring for pretty much every bat rep um, I do now. It consists of five units. Uh, there's two HQs and three troops. It's a battalion detachment, so it gives me three command points. Okay, so the first unit I wanted to talk about is this 10-man Crusader squad. Now, they have seven bolt guns. Then the sergeant has a combi plasma. There's a special weapon guy that has a special weapon, and there's a heavy weapons guy that has a heavy bolter. And the main reason I gave the guy the heavy bolter, in these small point lists, I really like the ability to use the Hellfire shell stratagem with that guy. It's an easy way to throw a couple more wounds on something. I don't feel like it's too cheesy, but I feel like it's a very good tool to have to potentially turn around a situation or maybe kill some snipers in cover or something like that. This is essentially the backbone of my army. It's the biggest single squad I have. It's the most points invested, and they are really the main unit I have to go get things. So next, we have this five-man scout squad. Now, they all have shotguns, and you might be thinking to yourself, why would you bring shotguns on your scouts? What's even the point? This is the unit I can throw anywhere and have essentially do anything. So... I like to have the ability to have them infiltrate forward and take an objective if I need to, or act as a buffer unit for one of my characters, or really, they, they are just my most disposable unit. They're the cheapest unit, they're 67 points. The only upgrade they have is the sergeant has a power fist, um, and honestly, the main reason I bring them is because I think that they're really, really cool. Also, um, I put Space Marine heads on all my scout switch for the Black Templar or Neo fights. Um, mostly just because, like, I hate the scout heads, and uh, I think the Space Marine helmets look better on them anyway. So next is a five-man Crusader squad. And like I said, my friend got these models out, and he was nice enough to take all these pictures for me, but he accidentally grabbed the wrong sergeant. But I kept it in here because I really like this sergeant too. Um, the only actual difference is the sergeant that my list uses has a chain sword and a storm bolter instead of a power sword like the one here. But um, it also has the two bolt gun guys, um, the sergeant, as I described, a plasma gun and a missile launcher. Now this is the unit I usually set on an objective to hold. And with five units, there's really only so much you can have sit back. So I decided to give them a rocket launcher. And it's pretty much my heaviest weapon. Um, I was thinking about taking a LAS cannon, but the, the goal of these 500 point games is to be more fun and we we limit vehicles more so it's not as necessary to have an anti-tank and the, the missile launcher is a really multi-role weapon and i really like how it looks to be honest i've always liked the idea of a space marine just walking around shooting people in the face with missiles okay next we have my lieutenant now you might be thinking that looks like a tactical marine with a jump pack and that's because it is but i made this for a campaign me and my friend had like started playing a while back and it was originally I had five of them they were a assault squad with bolt guns and I had rules written for them and everything but it wasn't ever a model I could actually use in a normal game but then when the 8th edition Space Marines came out and they reintroduced lieutenants these were like the perfect model for that for me and so the way I run them is it's a base lieutenant with a jump pack a master crafted bolt gun and in this list, he has a power lance, um, which is, it has the same stats as a power maul. I honestly, I just like the idea of a space marine with a spear a little bit better sometimes. And he is my warlord and my linchpin unit. He is the one leading this army. He is a do anything type of character. And at the point level, I feel like he can be effective at most things. He's good at putting out spot fires. Uh, he can grab objectives if I need him to. Um, sometimes I'll give him the Primarch's Wrath relic, so he has a super bolt gun. Sometimes I'll give him the Crusader's Helm, so his bubble effect goes out further. 
Um, he, he's a very multi-role unit. I really like him with the jump pack. Um, and honestly, uh, at, at first I didn't want to bring him with the jump pack just because it was, it was more points. But every time I bring him, I just have a ton of fun with him. This is one of my favorite models. And I actually have another one painted just like him. Uh, when I do bigger games, I'll probably bring them both and run them together. And finally, we have my Emperor's Champion. And if you don't know who this guy is, well, let's just hope you never have to fight one, because he is a dueling beast. His stats are pretty good, but when he's near a character, he just goes. Uh, he gets an extra attack and strength. He rerolls to hits and to wounds. Um, he just becomes a beast. His sword is AP3 and it does D3 damage per hit. Um, so in these 500 point games, I'll literally just run this guy at anyone. Uh, he's 75 points and if he dies, he dies. It happens in small point games. And if he lives, he'll usually take out at least his own points worth of guys. Uh, he's very powerful. I really, really like the Emperor's Champion this edition. Um, I think he's a must and I think he adds a whole lot of flavor to this list and the main thing I was trying to go for was like a feel of Black Templar I didn't want to bring a cheese list where I brought like Hellbrecht and some Devastators and sat in the back corner and just shot people while they tried to get to me that just it didn't sound fun to me so I wanted to bring something with some more bodies that that felt like the Black Templar should I'd like to thank you guys for watching the special double digit subscriber episode and thank you for the support that we've gotten. It's really been super handy. We've gotten comments, subscribes, views. It, the channel's doing really well, and it's all because of you guys. So I can't stress it enough. Thank you. It's been great so far, and I really hope we can keep bringing content.